Hi, my name is Sister Gloria Schultz. I'm a sister of St. Paul of Chart. I grew up in the Bessemer area and we had sisters in the area who taught us and they were school sisters of Notre Dame. And I went to cataclysm classes on Saturday mornings. And it was there that I first had burning within my heart that desire to become a sister uh, but I learned that sisters had to have a ministry and that meant that they would either teach school or nurse or something of that nature and I just wouldn't be able to do that because I knew I was too stupid. So I gave up the idea of becoming a sister. And then at a later date they were talking again about religious sisters but they were talking about contemplative women. And I didn't understand that word, but I did understand that all they did was sleep, eat, and they slept on boards, and they prayed. And I thought, ah, I can do that. And so the desire came back in my heart, and I went home with great excitement to tell my mom what I, that I knew what I was going to be when I got older. Her response was very normal, and she said, oh, you have lots of time to decide what you're going to be. Why I heard it different, I really don't know, but I heard, I don't want you to do that. And so I felt sad inside and decided at that point that I'd never talk about it again. So unfortunately, I was faithful to my promise to myself and I didn't talk about it again. My mother knew all along from my behavior that I would be a sister when I got older. But when I graduated from high school, because I wasn't talking about it, I went on to college. I got into my third year of college and I felt like if I don't do something about this desire in my heart, I was gonna get eaten alive. That was the feeling I had within me. So I began to check around a little bit about religious life, but to tell you the truth, I didn't do much checking. There was an ad in the diocesan paper, which was then the Sunday Visitor, to the Franciscan sisters. And at that point in my life, I could have cared less what community I entered. What was important to me was that I gave my life to God. That's what I was called to do. And so I wrote a letter to the Franciscan sisters and they responded wonderfully. And I was going to pursue that. I brought the letter home to show it to my mother who knew all along that somewhere along the way I would become a sister and she was excited about it, but she was also sad to see that I would be leaving the area and not be around. She shared my story with the assistant priest in, in Bessemer, and he asked for me to come and see him when I went home on the weekend. I did that, and he told me about the Sisters of St. Paul who had just come into the diocese a couple of years before that, and since I wasn't particularly attracted to the Franciscans, would I take a look at the Sisters of St. Paul de Chart? I did exactly that and decided that I would become a Sister of St. Paul. I kept contact with the Sisters because it was decided that I wouldn't enter now until I finished my education, that I graduated as a teacher, and then to teach for a year so that I could pay back my student loans, which is exactly what I did. It was, it's very clear to me now how God had a plan for me, how God was calling me to be a sister of St. Paul because I love deeply our spirituality. I love the way we believe in community life, that we pray together and we do many things together. So I'm so grateful for the guidance of the Holy Spirit at that time already in my life when I didn't really even fully understand the guidance of the Spirit. And so I am grateful to God for calling me to be a sister of St. Paul de Chartres.